Hello everybody, my name is Aisha Varma. The Iran government has carried out its second anti-government protest-linked execution in less than a week. Last Thursday, Mohsen Shikari, the first known protester to be executed, was hanged. And this week, the man identified as Madi Dreza Ranavard was hanged in public. He had been convicted of killing two members of Iran security forces. State television aired footage that claimed shows him stabbing two security force members to death and running away. Footage aired on state TV showed a man chasing another around a street corner, then standing over him and stabbing him after he fell against a parked motorbike. Another showed the same man stabbing another immediately afterwards. The assailant, which state TV alleged was Ranavard, then fled. Remember, anti-government and anti-hijab protests had begun mid-September when news of Masa Amini's death came to light. Who was Masa Amini? She was a 22-year-old who was on a trip to Tehran with her family when she, was, when she was detained by the morality police. She had reportedly worn her hijab incorrectly and she was reportedly beaten in police custody. She was rushed to the hospital after being taken into police custody. She went into a coma and died afterwards. The coroner who conducted her post-mortem said that she died of an illness. The incident sparked global outrage and the ripple effects of this incident continue until today. Some of the backlash that was seen against the Iran government was in the form of many women around the world cutting their hair in solidarity. Many women in Iran refused to wear the hijab, with protesters seen tearing it off and burning it on the ground. In a show of solidarity, the Iran football team famously refused to sing Iran's national anthem at the 2022 FIFA World Cup, while Iranian fans watched them with tears in their eyes. Now, one of the demands of the anti-government protests was to abolish the morality police. It was established in 2005 with the task of arresting people who violate the Islamic dress code. And recently, officials in Iran have suggested that the morality police has been abolished. Now, Masa Amini is number 100 on the 2022 Forbes list of the world's 100 most powerful women. It's one of the smaller signals of the larger impact that her life and subsequent horrific death created.